That was last. Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. So cheated. How about it, barn burners? Got another one for you. As you guys know, we want to work with all types of musicians, people that have recorded before, but mostly people that have really never had that chance. We got word from a producer friend of ours that this lady had came into the studio and was doing some work. Uh, her name is Abby, and she plays with Witch Wagon. She put out a song called Bones that we got to listen to, and it, it got our attention. So y'all check out Bones, all right, by the Witch Wagon. And check out this interview with Abby herself, and you'll be seeing a lot more coming real soon. All right, so I've never done this before. No, me, it's okay, me too. We'll, we'll swing it, we'll wing First it. Song. It'll be all right, it'll be all right. All right, so we're sitting here with... Abby. Abby of... The Witch Wagon. The Witch Wagon. Uh, Y'all just released Bones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell me, tell me about that. Tell me about uh, working with Andrew. This is your first time in the studio, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was really good. Like, he walked us through everything, which, you know, thankfully I didn't have to do much because I was just in there singing. No. But, yeah, I was confused, but he helped me a lot. No. He's a good dude. You guys working on anything new right now? No. Uh, as of right now, no, not really. I mean, we got, like, a few lyrics in the works, but no. not, like, any full demos. It, we've been kind of stagnant since. I can dig. I, can dig. I like the cover, the cover art. Was that like, so, is that like a photographer, you know, or something? Oh like? no, my sister did that. Really? Yes, I always make her. That's why she's here now. She be getting pictures of me. Really, dude? That, that looks she's great. like my little photographer girl. No, that that looks great. Yeah, I love the the aesthetic, and it's yeah. consistent across. Like, uh, I think you posted the demo. First, yeah, with the or, black and white. Yeah. all of it's like Polaroids because. That's what I want the name of my first EP to be. Yeah. And like, you know, it all ties in. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, when, when you approach a uh, something like that, an EP or a collective work, do you, mm -hmm. uh, do you have a general concept as, as far as like maybe like a story arc or is it just like, hey, I want these sounds. I want... You know, a song that does this, I want a song mm -hmm. that represents this. What? Well, I don't really have, like, a concept for it, but I know, like, the main representation of this EP, I want to be, like, mental health and stuff like that. Mm, okay. Because Bones is about an eating disorder. When I write, I write from emotion. Mm. I can't, like, you know, just write about anything. And I'll, like, sit there, and I'll get, like, chords together, mm. and I'll think of, like, Sort of like a metaphor for something almost. So, yeah, I'll like think of stuff like that till I force myself to make something like really powerful. And then I'm like, okay, that was good. Right on. Change it like 80 times till it's perfect. Yeah. And when it when it hits, is it one of those things that you just you just know it? Oh yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. When I wrote Bones, I wrote it. Was it October? November? Yeah. yeah. I wrote it after I got back from a Greta Van Fleet concert, which is like, you know, you wouldn't expect something sad to come out of that, but yeah. You big Greta Van Fleet fan? Are you kidding? Go look at my tattoo. I have a oh, Barbarian tattoo. Oh, sick. I, yes, I, I love them. Do. Yeah. I've been barricade. I've been two shows of them. Barricade both times. Oh, I camped man. everything. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Dude, right on. I'd love to see them live. I bet I bet it's a great show. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. I cry every time. <laughs> Oh, there's no shame in that. I saw Art Garfunkel a few years back. Yeah. I cried like a baby. It's I understand. Yeah. Man still got it. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What kind what... of music do you like? Man, I'm all over the place. All over the place. It's um, okay, same. Yeah? Anything's good. Anything? I don't like... I really don't like rap, though. Yeah. It's just not my forte. I like a little... And it has to really stand out to me. Like Eminem? He's a classic. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, mean, uh, I was about to say, you is, couldn't have went to middle school and not had a phase of Eminem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is, um, it was always, always there in the background. Like, mm -hmm. even if I tried to fight it, there was always one song I'm like, man, that's pretty good. Right. <laughs> like, He'd be getting me. Yeah. He'd really be getting me. So, like, I'm at a point now, like, just, anything catches my ear i like the heavy stuff the doom 
uh, yeah. type of thing. But we got into this sort of um, like not country in the sense of what you hear on the radio. Yeah, it's like alt country. The yeah. alternative, that's what the I call alter- it. Yeah, the alternative. I, I say that too. Because that's what I like. Yeah, I can dig, yeah. Uh, what, what, are you, what are you into? Right now, I've just been listening to like a lot of Fleetwood Mac. Mm. And I've been listening to a lot of Lana Del Rey too. Oh, okay. But, okay. I mean like, I just now got into like Jimi Hendrix and stuff like that. How old are you? I'm 21. 21, yes. okay. I, that makes me feel old. How old are you? 47. For real? No. I'm- <laughs> oh, my God. I believed you. <laughs> no, I'm 32. You're 32? Yeah. So, you said Greta Van Fleet. So, Zeppelin fan? Uh, yeah. I just... Now, I listened to Greta Van Fleet before Led Zeppelin. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. But I really like them. Like, yeah. I started listening. Don't we actually have a CD in the car? Yeah. I... That's how I come to find out about Greta Van Fleet. Everybody's like, dude, this guy sounds like Robert Plant. He really does. Uh, he, but, you know. But they're kind of growing into their own thing, and it's... Yeah. it's I like it. Oh, yeah. Their really. last album, Battle at the Garden's Gate. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. I love it. It just speaks to my soul. How do you feel about sharks? <gasps> oh, are you serious? She's so scared of sharks. I am so... Sharks are my biggest fear. It's scary right, really? that you'd... Yes. Wow. I'm literally terrified. Way to go, jackass. <laughs> the way you just knew that. Oh, my God. Sorry. Did you set this up, bitch? <laughs> Where's the shark? Oh, y'all like scary movies? I like scary movies. What I do you love like? scary movies, dude. So, I did a few tattoos. I'm sorry. I'm just putting my dogs up no, on the table like good. this. I can do it. But this was the first tattoo I ever did on myself was ghost oh, face. Oh, I got ghost face. And Pennywise, I have Michael Myers on the other leg, but nice. it doesn't look good. He looks like Gordon Ramsay, so we're not going to look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he does. And he's got a knife on the side of his face, and he looks like you just served him a really bad dish. Oh, my God. That is, it's a terrible tattoo. That's brilliant. But you know what? It's, I feel like a piece of me. I won't ever cover it up. I love shitty tattoos. <laughs> That's why I have, like, my whole arm is covered. Oh, I see his Stones logo. Yeah, I did that one. But you I did know, that? Yeah, I only know one song, though, so don't quiz me on that. That's okay. <laughs> I'm a poser. What song is it? Uh, Sympathy for the Devil. I don't have any tattoos. Really? I don't have any. Really? Yeah. Uh, so you really don't? I have none. none like zero? All. Zero. Never even contemplated it? I contemplated it. Why are you scared? Kenny! Come on, Kenny! Kenny! Come on in. Come on in, Kenny. This is okay. So this is Kenzie. This is <laughs> this is Abby. Hi, nice this is Hope. Hi. I'm Blake. No relation. <laughs> oh wow! I heard you had a day girlfriend. Huh? Oh, well, somebody did. Let's talk. <laughs> well, sorry for the abrupt end. As always, Kenzie messed it up. What do we do? She's like a bad case of the hemorrhoids. I'm telling you. Hand in your butt. So that was Abby with the Witch Wagon and her song Bones can be found on all major platforms. Please go give her a like, a listen, a follow, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Be safe out there. That's good. Action.